Ian from Lean Media. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a Prime exclusive discount for a Prime Big Deals Days in October 2023. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. So there's basically three things that you need to do when you're setting the setting up this type of promotion. I'll get to the actual act of setting up the Prime exclusive discounts, the uh, Prime Big Deal Days uh, discount in a second because there's two other very important steps you need to do first, and that is choosing the item you want to send in. In this case, it's this particular item. It should be a reasonably popular item that you select for these prime exclusive big deal day discounts. Um, I found that if you select an item that doesn't sell well or doesn't have a lot of ratings or people aren't so sure about it, it won't do that well, even if you're giving it a big discount like you know 30% or something like that. So this is the item I wanna send in. Um, the other thing that you need to be careful of with this item is first of all, you have enough inventory. And so I've, I've already checked, I do have the inventory available. I have tons of inventory available, so that's, that's okay. And then make sure that it does not conflict with any other coupon or promo that you have running. So what you need to do is you need to go to your promo area. So it is under advertising coupons. And I have these three pr uh, promotions going currently. I wanna make sure that this item is not already set up in a coupon that will be running at the same time as the Prime exclusive discount. Because if it is, you're basically stacking the discount for people and people can get these incredible discounts. I've seen some sellers who have botched this up. They've created a Prime exclusive discount on top of a coupon. They're giving people like 80 or 90% off and it's just, you know, it's it's a bloodbath because basically they're selling stuff at a fraction of the cost below below <laughs> below the cost of manufacturing it and the and the customers just clean them out and Amazon presents that uh, you know will pump the hell out of it because it's it's doing so well. So just be careful you don't have a coupon running for the same item at the same time. So I already have my item. I'm going to need to get the SKU or the ASIN. So the ASIN's down here and the SKU is down here. Then I'm going to go to the uh, Prime Exclusive Discounts. To get to this page, click on the menu icon, go to Advertising, Prime Exclusive Discounts. You'll come to this page, and then you're gonna click Create Discount. So right away, this is in the run-up to the Prime Big Deals Days discount in October 2023. It presents this, this box as an option. Just check that. That way you don't have to choose the October 11th or 12th or whenever it is. And then give it a name. So I'm going to call it Easy Genie. That's my brand. Um, a Prime Big Deal Day October 2023. Okay? And then save and add products. One other thing before we get going. Read the guidelines here. You need to understand that. So the product must have at least a 3.5 star rating or no rating. So actually, let's go back here. Um, four and a half stars. So I'm good on that point. Um, discount must be at least 20% off the non-prime member, non-promotional price. Uh, discount at most can be 80% off. The prime exclusive discount price must be 15% lower than the reference price. And uh, the prime exclusive discounted price must be lower than the lowest price for the ASIN in the past 30 days. This actually, this rule here, this trips up people because they'll forget that they had a coupon running or they had discounted the price already to something else. And then they try to set, you know, 20% off the, off the, uh, off the non-promotional price and it, it's, it's not working. Because, and the reason is, is because they had a, they had a sale for 15% off, you know, two weeks before. So just th this pricing stuff is kind of confusing and sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error as I will show you. Um, but just uh, be aware of that, pay attention to that. And there's some other criteria you have to pay attention to as well. So I'm going to save and add products and it's giving me, so I have to have the SKU ready. I don't know why they do that, but whatever the SKU is just on your product page I, you know I also have a spreadsheet somewhere but I'm just going to take it off the product page plug that in you can also upload a file but I'm not going to do that and then amount off or percentage off so this is uh, 28 it's basically 27.99 so I have to do 20 percent off that so let's do a little calculation and 27.99 times 0.8 all right, so this this should be the this should be the price that it goes for, and I'm gonna I'm gonna knock it down. Um, let's just say that I so I'm just gonna take off twenty percent, which is a, a pretty good amount for this actually. <clears throat> and 
and then negative 20. And then a minimum price. So Amazon and its algorithms, they shift things around. They may be calculating things, showing things slightly differently. So I already I already just calculated this should be the minimum price. I'm actually going to send it down to $21.99 and see if they'll let me do it. I think it's I think that'll be okay. It's already flagging it for some reason. So oh, please enter a valid value. The two nearest so you can't you can't even use sense, which is so ridiculous. I, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Amazon's technology is really like a rickety roller coaster. It's just basically designed to move fast and sell stuff. And if it's a little bit broken or buggy, you know, they don't really, they don't really fix that stuff. Or, and also the other thing is they don't really think of the uh, sellers who are using the, the platform. It's basically something slapped together by Amazon engineers half the time who haven't really done a lot of research or just told, yeah, create this thing quickly. So this is something that any any seller, any third party seller or even first party seller is like, yeah, I want to set it to twenty one ninety nine. And it, the engineers who designed it, they just don't get that the way that uh, it works in, in the United States, at least for, for pricing. So I have to change this to twenty two. And then operation, again, designed by an engineer, you may think operation, what the heck does that mean? That just means that, um, you know, these are the options that you can do, add, edit, delete. Operation is like a programming term. So again, this is, they, they really didn't think this through. They just slapped it together. It's a little, some things don't work the way you expect, but anyways, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I could also add other products here. Sometimes I've done two products or three products, but to tell you the truth, if you have one, like, hero product that you're doing on this promo, it, sh it should do pretty well. I I've gotten pretty good sales on these on these Prime Day things, and Amazon will show it to the right people. So let's just do that, submit the products, and oh, they're inv invalid Prime price discount specified in row one. Prime, pr prime price discount should be a positive numeric value. Well, you know, I was just typing in what Amazon showed me, and they put a, neg they put a negative symbol right before it. So, all right, let's make it 20%. God, dealing with Amazon. Validating prices. All right. Pray to the Amazon gods. I have my Jeff Bezos totem, and I'm kind of uh, rubbing his head right now. And okay, it says it's all right. Prime Big Deals, Prime Big Deal Days discount. Um, it's and it gives me a warning about that. Um, discounts not meeting the guidelines will be suppressed later. So I think why why they say this is because if let's say that I I because this uh. Prime big deal days discount. It's not taking place until uh, for another three weeks or so. So if I set up a coupon in the interim and it 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 uh, triggered a new lower price in the last thirty days, that would invalidate my coupon, and then I'd have to reset the coupon to something even lower. So it looks like I'm good. I'm I'm uh, that. So basically, this this product will start running uh, as a discounted special product during the. A prime day period and hopefully lots of people will buy it and i have a lot of inventory in stock so i think we're good if this video helped please take a moment to like it and follow me and i'll see you next time